The wooden block stuck to this cow's hoof is doing just as much harm as it is good. This is the Hoof GP. This wooden block is stuck to the cow's foot at the wrong angle. It's tipping in and too far towards the toe, so it needs to go. This wooden block was stuck to this cow's hoof in an effort to take the weight and therefore the pain away from the outer claw, which we can see closest to the camera right now. She has a very, very serious white line lesion, one that is a very long term problem. The block had been attached in an effort to take away all of the weight that was being pushed down through that affected claw and allow the healing process to begin, but because it was sitting incorrectly, it was causing strain and therefore pain on the deep flexor tendon, which is why we've just removed it, and why we're going to replace it with a better block that is thicker and positioned in the right way. Just look at all that lime green goodness. I really can't believe we've got our own glue, never mind the fact that we're using a glue that is absolutely brilliant. So this block is much thicker than the last one and we've placed it higher up the foot as you're looking at it, meaning that it's more over the heel and she shouldn't walk, or rock rather, back on it. Anyway, now we do need to move on and deal with this lesion because it won't get better by itself. It may look like it hasn't been healing all that much, but looking at it and drawing from my experience, I know that this has been much, much worse. Believe it or not, the healing process has actually already begun, but it would never be complete. And stretching the deep flexor tendon is something we definitely don't want to do. When we start with the grinder, we work from the edges inwards. We gently buff and grind the hoof horn material surrounding the lesion working from the edges inwards until we finally reach that lesion, which is when we know when to stop and pull out the big guns, or rather the sharp knives in this case, so that we can work delicately and intricately around that lesion to remove every little piece of necrotic and decaying hoof horn, which is what I'm doing now. This little spot in the white line is concerning me, so I want to chase it down and make sure that it doesn't come to a cavity as a conclusion. Problems like this can look small and open up into something huge, but in this case, I'm glad to say that it doesn't. You'll notice I'm washing this even more than usual. That's because there is some of the claret around and I need to be clear and sure of what it is I want to remove. I don't want to make any mistakes whatsoever, so visibility is absolutely key. I use the hook of my knife to gently place it in behind the hoof horn I want to remove so that I can hopefully avoid what I want to keep completely. As I'm watching this back, editing it for you guys, I'm looking at the block. It is thicker than it was before and we've placed it in a more appropriate place, but because of the bulging in the hoof that we're working on right now, I don't think that that block is actually thick enough to completely alleviate this sore claw of all of the weight bearing, and it's got me worrying. This is clearly a very open and very raw and painful lesion. I grab some blue roll to dab it off to get a good look at it. Believe it or not, I'm actually very happy with this trim. It's clean and precise and removed everything that we need to. But that block is still worrying me. Hungry? Kevin wraps the open lesion with salicylic acid and iodine to hopefully kill that digital dermatitis that I'm praying you all spotted. I grab the grinder and get on with the job of making sure that this block is sitting perpendicularly to the ground so that when she does walk in it, even if it's not high enough, she is walking comfortably. But actually, during the trim, as well as the edit, I also spotted that it wasn't high enough, so we did indeed apply a second block to make sure 100% and be certain 
that that outer claw is completely off the ground and that this cow is as pain free as she possibly can be so that the healing process can begin.